well, it's the apocalypse and I need to charge my 48 volt lawnmower, but Amazon is closed and I don't have a boost converter, a charge controller, or anything else. All I have is this 100 watt solar panel laying in the grass. It's a 12 volt, 100 watt panel that puts out about 17 volts. Here is the riding lawnmower. It uses a 48 volts lithium iron phosphate battery and it runs about 55 volts DC. So it's not possible to use that solar panel to charge this mower unless I have electronics, right? Actually, there is more than one electromechanical devices that you could use to get a 17 volt solar panel to charge a 48 volt device or a mower or any vehicle or battery bank. Previously, I used this DC to DC boost converter to boost a 12 volt battery up to 48 volts to charge my lawnmower but a circuit like this might not be available. In a grid down scenario, sometimes you have to cobble things together and just make it work. Who cares how it looks? What I've done here is I've taken a 24 volts DC motor. That's right there. And the 24 volts DC motor is something like 30 watts, although I'm not sure I put 30 watts through it. Of course, this will work on a bigger scale. On the left is a BLDC three phase AC motor, and that has the ability to output AC voltage. Next, I have one of the phases of the BLDC motor connected not to the input, but to the output of that variable step transformer right there. Now a three phase AC motor like this outputs a AC waveform. It does not put out DC and you can't charge a DC battery with AC. So I have to do something to rectify that voltage. On the side of the road and in any dumpster or e-waste center, you can find handfuls upon handfuls of diodes. They're in pretty much every piece of electronic equipment that gets thrown in the dumpster. So a diode, even though it is considered electronics, is one of the most common components on the face of the earth. And therefore, no matter what happens, it will be possible to get your hands on at least a handful of diodes. Therefore, what I've done is I've run the output of that BLDC motor into a simple bridge rectifier. And that will create a pulsed DC. Now what's amazing about this setup is it doesn't really use any boost circuits or any electronics at all, except for the bridge rectifier and I can control the voltage and the current flowing. It's worth noting that this process is not very efficient. However, if you find yourself unable to generate a required voltage and you don't have the necessary circuitry, that could be considered 0% efficient. In addition to that, a solar panel is a current limited source. So that means I don't really have to worry about too much current flowing or burning something out. That said, I do need to use a fuse for safety on the battery side. Let's turn it on and see what happens. And you can see I'm putting out 14 something volts DC. Now on the left I have a variable step transformer. And I can turn the dial on this and I can change the amount of voltage coming out. You can see it's going down and I can charge a 12 volt battery pretty easily with this setup. If I twist the dial to the left, the voltage starts to come up. 20 volts. eighty volts that's too high so let's bring it down to fifty three volts something like that fifty four volts will be fine now to charge my lawnmower i'm going to need at least fifty four to fifty five volts or nothing's going to happen this dc motor is simply turning a ac motor and i'm losing about five watts to do that and i'm running this little motor straight off the one hundred watt solar panel that you saw outside i'm thinking that this setup is wasting about half the power but i'm okay with that Desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's go take a look at the mower and see if it's charging. There's the other end of the extension cable, and I've got some alligator clips coming over here. There's a 12 volt fuse being used with a 48 volt battery bank just for safety. And yes, I know it's not rated for 48 volts, but that doesn't stop me from using it. So I'm using one of my trusty GE2524 multimeters, and you can see I'm putting in only 120 milliamps into that system. So indeed, this mower is charging from a 12 volt solar panel with no electronics. Of course, it's not terribly efficient, but it is efficient in terms of not requiring complicated boost circuits, and you can assemble this kind of a system using random off-the-shelf parts from a junkyard. Just to be clear, even one amp of current at 55 volts is enough to charge this mower, because I only run it to mow the grass and then I put it away. Mowing the backyard takes about 15 amp hours of power and mowing the front yard might take about 13 or something like that. So if it takes me 15 hours to charge this mower, I don't care. It's better than no charge at all. Now this BLDC motor is too small for the task. And I knew that. This is a proof of concept and a demonstration. Obviously if I want to do this for real, I need a bigger motor. Of course I can never leave well enough alone. 
I love DC motors and recently that motor was on sale and I recently acquired that motor as well. This one is a half horsepower motor. Oh, I did do a brief bench test of this motor and it jumped up in the air and nearly landed on my feet on the concrete floor. Thank God that didn't happen. I was able to catch it. Anyway, this is a very powerful motor and of course, so is this one. Now what I could do, this is a high voltage DC motor, is simply connect these two together, feed my solar panel into this, and I'll get plenty of DC right out of this motor. And I can put a blocking diode in there instead of a bridge rectifier. You could also use a smoothing capacitor to improve the charging. I have some interesting plans for these motors as well as others that I'm collecting. I've been working on a variety of new projects including this true solar powered window air conditioner with a compressor. If you're interested there's a link to that in the description. And for those of you who are interested in solar fans which is also DC motor related, this is my DC solar powered fan that I converted. It runs straight off of 100 watt solar panels and it doesn't need a battery. There's the little cheap PWM controller. Of course I could eliminate that if I wanted to. Maybe I'll try that later. Anyway, this thing's been serving me very well. It runs smooth as butter, and it's just plugged straight into the wall. 17 volts DC, 16.9, and that's the solar panels that are on the wall of my workshop. No battery, no fancy stuff. Hopefully I'll have some more videos out about this stuff in time. Of course, for years I've been meaning to convert my box fan to DC. I have more than one of them, including one that I saved just for that purpose, and I've been picking away at that project. Hopefully soon, that particular one there will be converted to either a brushless motor or a DC motor. Just a quick recap of how this works. This is a DC motor connected straight to a DC solar panel of 12 volts. This is an AC BLDC three phase motor. Spinning this motor generates an AC output. AC can then be brought through a transformer and stepped up to a higher voltage. Rectified and then sent over to a larger battery bank with higher voltage to do the charging. In effect this is a very low tech electromechanical DC to DC boost circuit or boost converter. All related video and playlist links are posted in the description down below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.